Welcome to TBS TV number two. This week we talk about all Australian boxing. Last week we spoke about Canelo Khan. I was wrong with my prediction. Lucas Howells, you were right. It was a six round knockout. Not sure if I believe you when you say you got the same amount of power at 49 kilos. Okay, today we've got Steve Wahenko, uh, promoter, boxer, Muay Thai boxer. He's done it all in fighting sports. So, Steve, welcome. Okay. And tell us a bit about your background. Um, yeah, born in the Philippines. Uh, come from a family of 12 brothers and sisters. Same parents. Um, seven boys, five girls. So. Busy parents? <laughs> busy, busy parents. Still busy parents. Uh, yeah, then we migrated to Sydney when I was five. And then came up to Brisbane when I was 16. Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right. I I heard you uh, you went to Nudgee College. Yeah, I was actually very lucky to get into Nudgee. Um, it was through a scholarship, rugby scholarship. Didn't even play one year of rugby for them. Got injured both years. Um, but yeah, went to Nudgee. Oh, so you didn't get you didn't, it wasn't uh, you weren't chosen for academic excellence, so right? <laughs> definitely not. Definitely <laughs> not. Uh, OP twenty five. I got excellent. Harder to get that than an OP two. They reckon. Good. Good. <laughs> I. Okay, so recently you've had a new addition in your family. How's that been? Yeah, no, it's been good. Um, Ellen's been saying, you know, like warning me about the sleepless nights, and it's been funny because of um, I've been crook the last couple of days, so I slept out on the couch. I was getting ready for work yesterday, and the missus goes, You bastard. You <laughs> did that just so you could get a full night's sleep. Excellent. No, it's been good. Okay, so um, I've noticed recently um, there's been on Facebook and social media the Aussie Tough Man, it's shown a lot of. Uh, um, you know, it's, it's very popular with people from all fighting arts. I know I've noticed recently that you've been named in the top 16 and you're going to fight in the over 80 kilo division. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. sorry under, under 80 kilo division. Um, yeah, why? Why? You've just had a baby, you've got a good life, good job. Why do you need this? Well, that's one of the reasons why, because I am over 80 kilos and I've just grown into a fat man, so I'm um, since fighting and. Um, Needed something to motivate me. Uh, I'll never make 66 again, unless I killed myself. And um, It was hard at the time, anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So then um, I thought, you know, give it a crack, and it's actually given me a bit of fire back in my belly, and enjoy the training, and starting to lose a little bit of weight now, so, yeah. So the, obviously the prize money is interesting. They're the 20 grand for a win. Who are, who are the ones that you, you know, the top dogs in, in either division. Do you, do you have you had a look yeah, at the yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, of course. Got to look at your competition. So who, who would you say the top dogs in the... In the over 80s? The force, um, James Fleming from Shaggy's Gym. He's, he's a bit of a guy to not to mess with. Um, and I guess Dodowski as well are the ones that I know. So they'll be interesting. I think so in the over 80s? Over yeah. 80s will be the most... Um, they're my sort of favourites to pick that. Yeah. And in the under 80s? You know, it's a bit of a tough one. I don't want to write myself off, but it's definitely a competitive one. There's got Gokard, the MMA guy who's a bit of a beast. Yeah, um, right. And there's all, obviously uh, <laughs> Daniel Valisaga, who I look as a, as a mate from Nuggets Gym. Yeah. Um, and there's also, yeah, Frankie Georgie, you know, so he's, yeah, he's, right. he's a bit of a lethal weapon. I, I, I saw um, Daniel Roussel is in the over 80 kilos, who was a, a good boxer a few years ago. Is that right? Did you yeah, see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think he's been act inactive. I've inactive, heard much yeah. for a long time. There's, but, a few, um, there's a few inactive fighters that have come out of the woodworks, like myself. <laughs> yeah, but you're still a good age to fight. Yeah, yeah. I suppose 31, if you think that's yeah. good. <laughs> well, it's uh, 45, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. That's true. So, good so if people want to come watch this. This is a, like I said on social media. It's gone. It's mayhem. Everybody's interested in it. Mm. Where Where will the fights be? Uh, so it's down at Carrara, the Gold Coast. And, yeah. Um, yeah, just for tickets, just sort of hit me up on Facebook, and and I'll sort of redirect you to where to get them from. So Steve Wahanko, hit Steve up on Facebook for the tickets there for this event. This will be huge. Um, I like it. I think it's a good concept. Yeah, I think it's people a great talking concept. about fighting. Yeah, I you think know, it's like... a great concept. Yeah, so, but, you know, big prize pool, sort of good names. I think something like this is good for all fighting arts. It's got people talking, bringing the best from, you know, different styles together. We never see that. Yeah. But it gets people talking about it. I think there'll be a good crowd there. Yeah, no, I love it. I love that it's all different codes as well. You know, MMA, yeah. kickboxing and boxing and... And that's something, I guess, with my promotions that I had with Worlds Collide was about people from other codes yeah. under the one banner. So, yeah, no, it's good. It's, good. it's nice of you yeah. to put a little plug in for your own, <laughs> your own promotion as well. That's excellent. Worlds Collide. Uh, <laughs> just talking to Jimmy before about um, 
uh, this weekend's fights. There's two Australian title mm -hmm. fights. Yeah, there is. There's one in Toowoomba and one um, in at Brisbane. the Edens Hill yeah. on Angelo's show. Mate, Farris versus the Luke Fox Sharp versus is an Sharp. excellent fight. That's a great fight, yeah. It's a great card, actually, at the Edens Hill. Another plug. <laughs> so, you're, you're on the payroll, obviously. <laughs> so, so, Farris and Luke Sharp's a, a, a great fight. I've yeah. seen a lot of Farris in... Uh, we're sparring with guys from here and obviously, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. from around the traps. And he's a crafty bugger. What, yeah. what, what do you reckon? Prediction um, or? Actually, yeah, I think I'm tipping Farris for it, the Fox, but um, Sharp's a good boy and I, I definitely think he's going to test him, you know. And they both had good good amateur pedigree as well, mm -hmm. so they can both box. But um, I, I, Luke Sharp is very tough. He's, good. he's quite yeah. good and strong and close. Yeah, he's just, a real fighter. I, I just think Farris... In my eyes, look, I might be wrong, as I was last week with Canelo and Carl, but that's the way it is. But um, in my eyes, I think Farris is probably a little bit too slick and it'll be hard, might be hard for Luke to close that gap on Farris. Yeah, Farris is unorthodox. Like, he's yeah. not a conventional sort of boxer, so he's hard to sort of tag in that way, the way he moves yeah. a bit. So, no, it's a good fight. No, I'm tipping Fox to come up with it. And, and for that one as well, um, I believe, I spoke to Angelo earlier, um, tickets are available at the door. Yep. Or, you know, again, hit any of the boys up on Facebook, Facebook and yeah. get your tickets through them. So, yeah, support this great event. Also, Toowoomba Friday night's a good event too. Yeah. So, go and, go and support. If you're up in that area, go support Brendan Smith and his team. They always do great things up there. Mm. Yeah, Waylon Law's on that against Jack Assis, isn't he? Yes. That's yeah. a, that's good a fight. cracking fight. Good fight. Who do you tip for that? I've got to say Jack. I've got to say Jack on just experience. Um, but we know... Yeah. From seeing quite a bit of Waylon, he, 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 he can made a few the upset. shows. Yeah, yeah. Mate, he's, he'll have a dig, and you know, Damien Smith's got him going really well since he's gone to Damien. Damien yeah. Damien's a good trainer as well, so um, yeah, it's interesting. Currently, the best fight in the world, in my eyes, is um, Triple G. He's probably the most feared man at the moment, and his power and his skill is, yeah, something special. If Will Tomlinson versus Billy Dibb fights in 2016, who wins? Um, I don't think Tomlinson has the power to stop Dibb, and I think Dibb's skills and box, uh, boxing will, will get him on, on top of in boxing so welcome Steve tell us a bit about yourself wait is this <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really read the question